What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? So I want to talk about I'm sick. So if I sound uh, if I sound a little congested, I'm still I don't know. In Vegas, man, ever since I've been here, I feel like I've gotten more sick than my hometown. I don't know. Maybe it's the air quality. Maybe just people are like you know dirtier here. You know, people don't wash their hands and shit. So shit I touch. I don't know. But uh. Yeah, anyways, uh, what I wanted to talk about today is, I've kind of touched on this a lot in my videos, is working jobs that you per don't particularly like, like, um, my bad, y'all, it was a crackhead, um, no, literally, it was a crackhead, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, working jobs that you don't particularly like, um, and I've touched on this, um, going back to my other videos, but, uh, what I want to let y'all know is uh, use that job as a stepping stone to get yourself to the next level. You might not like the job you work. Honestly, I'm in Vegas. I'm not working the job that, you know, makes me the most money. Um, I'm not making the job that, uh, that, uh, yeah, it makes me the most money right now. It, it's it's not a job that I particularly like, but it's pretty like you know it's pretty chill. Um, uh, but it doesn't like get me the money that I want right now. So uh, I'm just gonna do this job to get me to the next level. And what I want to go for like people who's working jobs that they don't like is. Uh, damn, slow your ass down, man. It's fucking Vegas drivers, man. This dude's speeding out the fucking thing, man. Like, almost ran into me. Like, people just don't know how to drive. Yeah, like, anyways. Uh, just work that job until you get to the next level. And stack your money. Stack your money. Stack your money. One of the things when I was working in this warehouse, uh, I seen a lot of people did, and I did. They were, like, buying new cars buying shit you know so you're a slave to the job you hate this doesn't even go only to warehouse it goes to like any job you know um stack your damn money i was a victim of this i wasn't stacking money back then like i'm gonna be straight up honest like i was spending a lot of money i didn't buy like new cars and shit but i was buying a lot of bullshit you know that i didn't need and now me being older you know i'm 34 going on 35 uh i'm literally turning 35 and like um, a month. I turned 35 January 29th, you know? A little two months, but, you know, I'm almost there. Getting to be an old man, you know? About ain't what it used to be. But, like, what I'm realizing is, bro, I mean, not bro, but, like, it's about stacking, like, stack that money, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can splurge a little, like, as you can see, me and my girl just went out to Japan, and maybe I'll do a breakdown. That was, like, six, six, almost seven months ago. Um, if you haven't watched my last video, I just put out highlight clips of it. Check it out. It's a pretty good video. I put in time and effort in that video. If you want to go see, like, you know, we're nerds. We're into toys and shit. So we, uh, we, uh, went to go check out toys and basically the scenery. It's my first time ever being out the country. I've never been in, in my whole 34 years of living. I've never been out the country. She's been out the country a couple times. But, uh, it's my first year. And then maybe I'll do a video of breakdown expenses, you know what I'm saying? Because we, like, stack for that trip, you know what I'm saying? We save, uh, yeah, we stack, you know? So, like, I'm not just saying save, 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 don't have any fun. Like, yeah, have your fun, but, you know, put some money to the side for that. Don't go digging into your savings and stuff. Like, I don't know if y'all follow Dave Ramsey. I used to watch a lot of his videos, you know what I'm saying? He has, like, say, have an emergency fund. Have that emergency fund of, like, you know, six to seven months of rent, you know what I'm saying, in case shit happens, because, you know, shit is gonna happen, you know, so when you least expect it, you know what I'm saying, you're, you, I, I hope nothing happens, but, like, it always be like this, at the worst of times, your, your car breaks down, your, your, your job, like, like, you gotta, you gotta get something fixed, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it's something, you know, it's always something, you know, at the worst possible moment, so always keep that emergency fund on deck, you know what I'm saying? Like keep your savings stacked up, you know? Um, so, but like then 
you know, there's times in your life where you can take a break and explore and you don't have to spend a lot of money to do that. You don't have to go crazy to do that, you know? There's a lot of free stuff if you take the time and effort to do it, you know? I mean, research it. So yeah, um, if you're working a job you hate right now, stack that money, stack that money, stack that money. Get your money up, you know, stack it like, um, there's nothing wrong with saving, you know, and being frugal, you know, to get to where you want to be in the next level. Um, just think while you're on the clock, like, man, I hate this job. And I be thinking the same way, you know, I be thinking sometimes like, man, I can't, I don't like this job. I can't stand this job. When I'm about to clock in, you know, you take that deep breath before you go into work and you like, oh, back at this job again, you know, but like, know that you're working towards a goal you know what i'm saying don't let let that be the end all be all because a lot of people they build up so much debt they buy so much shit and then they're a slave to their job they can't never get out of the job and i said this in my warehouse video how warehouse jobs keep you trapped this isn't just warehouse this is any job they will keep you trapped if you if you um continue to be a consumer and not a you know stacker so like work work hard stack that money and but enjoy also enjoy the fruits of your labor you know what i'm saying take some time off you know what i'm saying if you're working hard and you stacking you got that emergency fund stack a little money to the side so you can go do something that's what me and my girl did like we literally like fucking stack some money to the side and we still had savings when we came back you know we didn't go out there and go into major debt a lot of people go on vacation and spend way more than they 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 plan to because uh what the hell is going on here way more than they plan to because they don't budget that's one thing you got to do too you gotta you gotta budget you know what i'm saying you gotta budget and and take a look at it, your expenses you know what i'm saying one thing i did to save money faster is uh I made like a budget sheet of like all my bills, you know? So I put rent, phone bill, uh, car, well, not car insurance, cause I pay my car insurance six months in advance. So I pay it all in one lump sum. Look into that. If you can do that, I know it's expensive for some people. If you can do that, it's a lot more than paying. It's a lot, you actually save like two, $200 than paying it month to month. Just look into it, you know? Um, but uh, yeah, phone bill, food, uh, what up, my subscriptions just look at all your expenses and put them on a list you know what I'm saying that way you'll know like okay I need this certain amount of money every single month and then I got this money left over you know what I'm saying that's one way you know of what you make you know I said I, I put out a video the other day how to like uh, save money I forgot the title I'm tired y'all I just got off work how to save money and um and uh working a part-time gig you know like like um it um you can you can do it you know you can do it but you gotta you gotta you gotta put in the work and effort you know so yeah i just wanted to put that little video out um don't let that job get you down. I know how you feel if you hate that job. I'm not particularly working a job that I freaking hate, like I can't stand, but I am working a job where it's like, um, it's like, uh, um, I don't want to be doing this for the rest of my life and it's not making me the money I want to make right now. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I just, you know, it's not for me like that you know so um i'm stacking money right now you know i'm saving and but i'm also you know i also take time to like have fun you know what i'm saying not just sitting there work 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 no fun you know because that would drive you insane i remember i was working that warehouse man i was working like six days a week 16 hour shifts the money was good the money was good but uh i was so depressed that you know and I didn't have guidance in my life. I didn't have a, like a, a strong father figure. My mom, she was horrible with the bills. She'd get money and spend it like that. You know what I'm saying? She'll take, she would literally, my mom growing up, very bad role model. She would like, we had something called a state fair every year, right? 
that's where like the whole Minis like the whole Minnesota state would get together and it's like a big old fair and everything's expensive there but it's cool to go there you know they got good food and I actually went there last year it was like fucking thousands of people you know what I'm saying I think I put a clip on this channel you know but uh um yeah she would literally take our rent money and she'd be like the landlord didn't fix this so I was gonna spend the rent money and spend it at the state fair and then we wouldn't have money for rent at the end of the month like my mom was so irresponsible with money so I didn't like piggy banking off that I didn't mean to get into this whole little thing um uh uh damn this video is not edited so you're gonna see all the uhs and was and uh you know I stop and think you know I say all that shit but piggy banking off that is I didn't have strong role models in my life to tell me like hey you need to stack that money so when I was working that warehouse job I was yeah I was making good money working six days a week but I was depressed as fuck you know what I'm saying stuck in a warehouse no windows you know what I'm saying you just every day on the grind on the grind so I was buying a bunch of stupid shit you know stuff off of Amazon that I don't even own today you know it's crazy how much shit I bought that I don't even own anymore you know I wasted so much money back then and me being older and more financially responsible I wasn't that young back then you know but like I don't know I was just you know I was trying to cope for my emptiness in my life you know and I felt like I needed to buy a bunch of pointless shit to make me feel good you know and I can't say I don't think I owned one thing from those days back then that was just like probably like what what six six years ago maybe yeah six years ago I think my last warehouse day was um actually it was like 2021 so nah but the, my last the warehouse that I the truth about warehouse video that I did because I worked some in 2020 you know um yeah back then um but yeah the point of this video is don't be discouraged like I know working those jobs suck but um think of it as a stepping stone to get you out of that situation stack that money and do something you really want to do in your life instead of staying at a job that you hate and buying a bunch of shit and getting into debt where you're a slave to that job because i said this in my how warehouse videos get keep you stuck this is the truth if you do not mm, if you do not be careful you can end up like one of those old dudes at the job that's always cussing and talking shit oh man fuck this job fuck this man i can't believe i got another day another day another dollar i hate this but i'm here because i'm in a bunch of debt and i gotta pay for all this but i got a fancy truck i got my 2027 truck outside that in 10 years i have it paid off I just got to do a bunch of overtime to pay this shit off and my credit cards, you know. You know those guys. You know those people you work with, been there 30 years at a job they hate and they're miserable. But they got the newest truck. They got the newest car. Yeah. You don't want to be that person. So stack your money. Live life. Use that money to get you to the next level. Invest it in something that you're very passionate about you know i don't know what you're passionate about I me mean, i like what i like working out and also being in vegas i want to get into the bartending scene because um i feel like it'd be fun to make drinks and it's a it's a it's a pretty easy way if i could learn the drinks to make money because i could travel with that skill see that's a skill set that can take me i can go anywhere everybody's gonna drink for you know i don't drink personally but people drink all over the place you know so that's a good skill to have maybe you want to be a plumber maybe you want to be an electrician i'm hey i'm not knocking you whatever you want to do in life use that shitty job that you're doing right now to get you to the next level um, all right y'all i'm about to get in this house i just worked the eight hour shift of a job i don't particularly like that's why i shot this video <laughs> but i'm using this job to get me to the next level in life you know um I could be like one of those dudes and just stay there forever, complain, but I'm trying to mold my mind into thinking, hey, 
I'm gonna use this job to the next level to get to me, to get to where I want to be. You know, um, I appreciate y'all guys for watching. If you watch this long, um, appreciate you. Look, it will get better. I promise you, it will get better. But you got to do it the right way. Don't blow your money. Don't buy dumb shit like I did. Learn from my mistakes. I'm just telling you right now, as a uh, as a more mature adult, as a older person, you know, if you're young, if you're doing that right now, just sit back and focus, you know. And you can have fun while doing it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying just be a grind. These a lot of these gurus say like you gotta grind 24/7, 24/7. These these fake uh self-development grind 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 no that's not how you live life you know what i'm saying you got to take time to like you know enjoy your life go for walks go go places go places you want to see you know what i'm saying you got to spend a lot of money to do that shit you know but um yeah appreciate y'all for watching i gotta go home eat some food and go to sleep uh i don't know when this this video is dropping this video is probably gonna drop on thanksgiving yeah, it will drop on Thanksgiving. Yeah, so uh, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, hey, enjoy this day off. You know what I'm saying? Chill, you know, chill with, you know, family or chill with yourself if you ain't got family. You know what I'm saying? Just enjoy your day, you know? Um, I appreciate y'all for sticking with me and more videos to come. Um, also, just do me a favor. I hate saying this, but, you know, like the video if you stayed this long. Please, it helps. You know? Alright, y'all. Peace.